nice views, good vibes, right before the training camp, you feel me? So just a little team bonding. Things that we did last season, we want to build on that momentum. I simply love the game of basketball, and I've been away from it for so long that I'm trying to remain calm and keep a level head, but I'm, I'm just too excited. Year two media. Let's dance. What makes today's media day so different? Um, more excited this year. We got handles, too. We got handles. Really bonding with the guys. I know basketball is going to take its toll, but just the off court camaraderie that we have that, that, that leads to winning basketball games and just having fun. Definitely know what to expect now. But I mean, never been camera shy. Um, Always cool with the camera, so you know, it was a pretty, pretty fun experience for me. What is your go to pose for a picture? So? I'm really excited for this year. We got a lot of got a lot of talent, and you know, we, we're really putting together something special. So, I'm sure you. <laughs> so, it's true, 5 a.m. We have, uh, I think we have a very special group. Um, I think everybody saw that last year. A uh, great group of guys. Everybody wants to see each other succeed. It's gonna be a fun year. It's gonna be a fun year. There's a lot of positive pressure around this team. And uh, if there's one thing I know, pressure is a privilege around the NBA. So uh, get ready for a fun ride. I figured the team would have a big opportunity uh, in front of us to make a big round on the play on the playoffs. So we gotta fight for that. We gotta work, we gotta be better every day, help each other. The chemistry is there. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, making the playoffs, going on a deep playoff run, getting out there, my work the season, having fun. I'm showing what I can do, earning my spot on this team. To the fans, man, y'all already know we're going to go hard for y'all. Come out, support. Uh, it's going to be a real fun season, man. D, how you want to say it? Oh, D, name it. Like jail pose. Just finished media day, and man, it's a lot of work, but media day is always fun. Uh, you can come in, put the uniforms on. Oh, that's so cute, man. Like the five best friends that anybody had. It was a great day. Did a lot of interviews, took a lot of pictures, and I had a great time. Stay tuned. So we are getting ready to kick off the season. We are beyond excited. We have our entire team here, our coaches and the entire front office and staff. It's so important for us to get together and really make sure that everyone feels like a family. Um, I think because of last year, you all saw how important the locker room is and how being a family and building those relationships are. So this is how we're starting off the season. Right now we had team dinner on the rooftop. I think it's called Mason's Rooftop or something like that. Nice views, good vibes, right before the training camp, you feel me? So just a little team bonding. So there was this, which player will be named MVP? He wasn't one of those people listed. He got no votes. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Real quick, I, I want to address you guys. We're excited about the season excited about the group that we have here. You guys know um, the things that we did last season. We want to build on that momentum, and that's already started. It started in summer league. It started with all of our work in the summer, all the things that you guys have been doing, and, and we look forward to having another exciting season. So. Extremely proud of this group. Everybody, um, we do this. We stay connected, we communicate, and teamwork. Everybody in here is a part of it. So my son was diagnosed. Uh, he had headaches uh, last spring, and we took him in to uh, outpatient MRI on May 1st. And lo and behold, he had a tumor in his third ventricle in his brain. Unfortunately, it was malignant. He had really intensive chemotherapy. We were in the hospital for a week at a time, and it was rough. He lost um, about 30 pounds, um, of course, lots of muscle mass. And at the, by the end, he was in a wheelchair. He was so weak. 
and uh, he had some left-sided weakness from the start and uh, that has gradually improved and then we can't even notice it now which is an absolute blessing he's getting stronger and stronger every day he's back in school full-time first time and boy it's over two years he's just doing great and we're just blessed to be here with the Pelicans we keep Zion as his favorite player by far Come bear some gifts. <laughs> Start with this one. I know you got one, but I got I brought one for you myself. Thank you so much. I don't even really know. I mean, I, I didn't think this was ever gonna happen, honestly. Like I couldn't even dream of this at all. Like meeting it, not let, let alone Zion, like the whole team, that was just crazy. Find me. I knew to this. He's not new to this. He do this. He do this. Pretty much ever since he like was like committing to like a school and I just decided to follow him after that. It's, it's unbelievable how like grateful he is and happy and like all of that. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. What's up, Pels fans? I hope you guys enjoy our open practice today. We're appreciative that you're here, and we're gonna make sure that this season is one to remember. We started with basketball. We started with dunks, with passes, with shooting. Now, we get to the real part of the show. You guys can thank Mr. Brandon Ingram for the hot dog eating contest. The four losers will now sing to you guys. That's when somebody say your name. And my stomach is a pain. I've been walking around this TV, man, this TV, yeah. I haven't been in that uh, environment where I've been able to play and, and interact with the fans. So I think once I hit one group, I, was, I looked around like, well, I'm about to have to make a 360. Uh, and uh, I was able to, uh, the fans were, uh, were dope. Um, was able to hit a lot, of, uh, get a lot of kids. Um, but it was, uh, it was a great environment. I just want to be a part of something special. Over the past year and some change, due to all the adversity I faced, all those rough moments, those almost mental breaking moments, uh, I found true resolve within myself. And the Notorious B.I.G. album, Ready to Die, really changed my life. Uh, just listening to it. Listen to how stressed out he was and how he just wanted better for his situation. I'm very excited to get on the court this season. I I simply love the game of basketball and I've been away from it for so long that I'm trying to remain calm and keep a level head, but I'm I'm just too excited. How excited I am on a scale of 1 to 10 would be a 100. I can't wait to wait for three years. Uh, I'm really excited for Zion's first game back. Um, I'm just excited to see the guys again. We're up close and personal tonight, sitting courtside, but we're just happy to be back in the blender, happy to be back with all these fans, and uh, we're looking forward to a really good season. Thank you, man, for the opportunity. This is what I did to do, man. Here's the Calling for it under the rim. Contact and one off the glass with the left hand. Zion Vincent. and one. And he flexes on the match. Good stuff. 58 points in the paint. Okay, that's that's amazing. And we won the free throw battle. Those are things that we have to do. That means we're playing a physical game. Now, 8 for 24 from three. We got to get up more threes. We got to create more shots for each other. But overall, good win. Uh, good effort down the stretch from the young guys. Let's continue to build. One, two, three, together. Yeah. Birmingham's a basketball city. We've got a lot of deep history here with players who have played at a high level in the NBA. I think people forget that and what we have to offer. And 15,684 uh, people are going to be here for a sellout crowd. It's the first NBA exhibition game we've had in four years. Yeah. Super excited that they're here in the city. Man, it's, uh, just, it's a great buzz, great energy. Well, I'll come to see high level play, so it'd be, it's good that I can just come an hour away from my house to get that high level of play. Alabama's been representing for a long time, but we actually just getting noticed. You know, it's good to have our, our collective guys on, on the same team, and, and I'm an Alabama fan also, so 
You know, that kind of helps with her being the Pelican and from Alabama, so hey, it all plays together. Better. Um, the show starts for all of us now. Okay, so day off tomorrow, fill your cup, rejuvenate, get ready to come back and get to work on Sunday because we got a lot to prove. Okay? Together on three, one, two, three. Together. Yeah. Hey, you did it wrong.